Hey, how's everybody doing today? Oh, it's been a few weeks. I haven't done a video. I was sitting around today wondering what the heck can I do? Yeah, I've been working a lot of overtime and whatnot. But anyways, I bought this camera probably, oh geez, six months ago, nine months ago, something like that. And I've been using it off and on. And I did a little short review on it because normally I shoot everything on my phone. Yeah, I used to have like the Sony stuff and all that and I realized, you know, the iPhone's pretty damn good so it's a lot easier. Anyways, my little workbench out here, it's probably been a year, maybe more, <clears throat> excuse me, since I've even really done much work out here because I've been so busy on my rig and stuff. But, a few things that I'm gonna be doing on that I'm going to be doing a little cutting on it in the near future. I'll explain that and show later on how I'm going to cut out the center bar where your calves would go over because I want to get the force feedback joystick that Wing Wing's coming out with. But it's a big, big base. And what I'm going to need to do is take the center brace out, bring it to my shop, cut it, drop it, add in some pieces and probably lower it by six inches, maybe a little more. I'm not sure on the dimensions on that base that they're gonna be coming out with, with, but if it's anything like the Moza, that looks probably around maybe six or maybe eight inches in height and probably four inches, five inches wide. So I'm, to put that in the middle where it's gonna be, my stick's gonna be up around the middle of my chest somewhere. So yeah, that's gotta get fixed. But anyways, I wanted to talk about this camera i i picked it up like i said over six months ago i haven't used it enough i've used the elgato webcams i've used probably 10 different webcams i've even had the sony regular i think it's like a 35 millimeter so i ended up getting rid of all that stuff because if i'm going to use a webcam for anything this is probably the best webcam i've ever seen i mean i know elgato makes some good stuff I've tried their Elgato cams. They are nice. Uh, their, 4K, their 4K cams are nice, but I gotta tell you, this Nexigo N970P, they make a 950 that's 1080, and they make an Iris, which is about $200. This one, when I bought it, was probably, I think, around 200 bucks. Now it's on sale for like 160. The 970 and 950 they're all ai powered which i guess it does its own compression style stuff but what a beautiful picture this does we're going to go and take a look at that in a few minutes i'm going to hook this back up and we're going to run it and give you a look at how this is i did a short video on it like i said a while back but i really didn't get too deep into it now this one ai powered and 950 is AI powered. Then the Iris, it's pure hardware. I'm hoping they send me one to review. I sent them out an email. So with some luck, they'll let me borrow one. This webcam comes with a remote, which I have right here. It has a really nice smooth zoom. It has a nice fast autofocus. You can mute, move the views side by side, up and down. It's probably a lot to do with the AI. I guess that's the part that handles all that stuff. So, yeah, I've been, some of this stuff I've been messing around with. This is what I'm gonna be, I'm gonna be replacing the, um, this with the force feedback stick that, that Wing Wing makes and hopefully they'll come out with it soon. They still, like I said, I don't know the dimensions on it, so hopefully soon, real soon. So here we go, here's the camera. It comes with this top piece right here. Look at the cable that comes with this thing, the data cable. It's USB powered, does all the transmitting right through the cable. I, I use some double-sided tape to put the, you know, the, the camera cover over because it kept falling off. I'm kind of surprised they didn't attach it. And also I've got it like hooked up to a removable gizmo here for the tripod. So we're gonna go hook it up. 
take a look at the type of quality it has. And I gotta tell you, if you're using webcams, I would use this even for shooting full videos. You're gonna see how nice this thing shoots. It, it's, it's gorgeous. And I normally don't use the, I, I normally don't do these type of reviews. It's been a long time since I've done any hardware pretty much not related to flight simming. But like I said, I'm kind of in the middle of working on something and figuring some stuff out. So I'm going to have a good video coming on the flight rig. Yeah, I've been, I haven't even used this yet. I used it for like five minutes and I went back to using the wind wing stuff. Works really nice. And this right here, I don't know what happened to this throttle, but for no reason, out of nowhere, I mean, I've redone my windows. I did everything I was. I mean, I have the Wind Wing F16, but I really liked the style of the knob on this and stuff. I know I'm jumping around a lot, but all of a sudden, when I was using it just out of nowhere, I would move it about this far, and the thing goes right into afterburn. I redid the app. I... Like I said, I went as far as uninstalling my windows completely, reinstalling. I tried to reset it. I, I can't figure it out. It's this piece right here. You know, I picked it up. I haven't even taken the plastic off it yet. So I'm not even sure what I'm going to do with that. Anyways, let's get back to this. Let's take a look at the Nexio 970P and let you decide what it looks like. Okay, so here we are. The only thing that I had to do with this was add the noise gate on it so I could block out a little bit of the background noise. We have what they call, again, every year, it's the Portuguese Feast, and I live right on the street, and it's a big crowd. I'm talking... Thousands of people come here to the feast, and there's bands and food, all Portuguese mostly. Uh, really good stuff, but if you like Portuguese food. And yeah, so there's always a lot of background noise. Anyways, this is the picture that you get. Incredible zoom on it. Let's check out the zoom, give it a, a quickie. Now, in order for me to use the left, right, up and down um, movement for the camera, I've got to be running it off the app. I didn't even download it. This is just default out of the box. Only a, only a little bit on the noise gate, like I said. There's people revving their engines back there, music from the band down the street. This is going to be going on for weeks. But um, the first week of August, it gets insane. You know, people, like parades and yeah they they really do throw a party so a little bit of zoom and it goes a lot lot more than that now when you zoom in you're losing a lot of the quality of the picture so that's default and what i'm going to do now is move the camera a little bit closer and point out what i'm going to be doing next I have been doing a ton of summer cleaning all winter, getting boxes in from hardware, computer parts, stuff that I've been building, and, and, and cardboard boxes coming out of my ears. This is the bar that I'm talking about. It has four screws, two on each side. And oh yeah, by the way, this is the mic that comes with the camera. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna end up pulling that off and it looks like probably a couple inches out on each side. What I'm going to do is cut it, angle it, drop it down, and probably leave like a six-inch opening where it's going to be joined by the same size pipe. I'll do it over at the shop. This way, when I put the force feedback stick in there, it falls right in. I still have the opening for where it needs to slide up. I haven't been using the F-18 at all i've been so loving the f16 i just I, I just love the space it's just it's so on the money i know real simulator makes one that's a lot more money and he makes his own handle i don't know how much better it is i hear it's kind of a different feel but i think when wing came through and gave a pretty good you know they, they got it pretty accurate anyways for me 
I like it. The other one, all the other sticks, like the Verpal, this stick, when without the um, force feedback, not the force feedback, but actually the kit in it, I just find them, they're very, now I've never, I've only been inside of one fighter jet when I worked on a, the Otis Air Force Base, and I was doing flight line duty one day. It wasn't in the Air Force. I worked for the Department of Defense. I got to go up. I can't remember if it was an F-106 or something like that. Going back in the 80s, it's what they had down there. And I did check out, you know, the inside of it. Of course, there was a pilot there. It was all um, Air Force National Guard or Air Guard. Nice guys. And I got to, I, I, I was amazed at, like, all the buttons and switches and everything in them. It, it was incredible. I I couldn't even imagine how they could remember all that stuff. Now, I know that we get to do a lot of that, like pressing buttons and stuff in here, but inside of that thing, it, it was a whole different animal. It was just like, you got to have a, like a photographic memory or something to remember all that stuff. But it was a pretty cool experience. Very tight, too. If you're claustrophobic, you'd have an issue. That's for sure. So, I'm going to move this camera back. You got an idea what I'm going to do there. Yeah, I keep the screwdriver over near the F-16 grip because, like I said, there's magnets holding it down. Instead of forcing the back panel on, on, the, um, on the joystick base and stuff and moving it around, I just put it under and give it a little pop-up. And it comes right off. And, and believe me, it, it doesn't move. You're not gonna, you're not gonna pull it off of there. You're not gonna slide it or, or, or anything. It's great. So I didn't want to make this video too long. I just want to give a little, you know, something. I'm gonna probably end up cutting a whole shitload of stuff out of this. I just want to give a little run on the quality of this camera, the Nexico. This thing blows me away. It, it's incredible. It again. Let's bring the box over. Now, right now they're on sale at Amazon. They're about a buck sixty. I think I paid two hundred or more. If you don't mind the AI, it's the nine seventy P N nine seventy P Nexco four K AI powered, and it goes up to sixty FPS. For the quality you can get from this camera, I know it's not a five thousand dollar. Canon or whatever they use, but for the average person that's just streaming or doing any type of anything, this cam is awesome. I just want to do a video on something. Like I said, I got some projects coming up. Be something you know a little more in depth, something a little more exciting to look at, and hopefully uh, you know we come up with good ideas. But anyways, I don't want to keep this video too long. I hope this mic sounds good. I haven't even tested it yet. I could normally be using, this is a nice mic, it's called uh, Saramonic, one of the nicest sounding mics I've had next to the, um, the Shure mics and stuff, it's like right up there for a less expensive microphone. Anyways, I'm going to cut this video short here, I know it's already way too long for what I want to do, but again, I recommend this camera, if you're willing to spend $160, It'll be the best money you ever spent on an awesome quality webcam. Actually, it's used a lot for conference calls. It's so good. Big companies use them. They actually, where I work, they call it a cushioning company, but it's actually, they make the Titleist golf ball, supposedly the number one ball in the world. But they do use these also on the conference calls. So, on that note, I'm signing off, and we'll catch you all on the next video.